Hi guys, welcome to the NFT STZ YouTube channel. Drip Baby right here talking to you. And I am so excited for this video because I am going to buy my first NFT on OpenSea. And I want to show you my whole process. Usually when you want to buy an NFT, you need like a wallet and also Ethereum, a cryptocurrency in your wallet. Here, I'm going to show you the steps that I did from zero to buying an NFT. NFT on that platform so you can do the same if you want to well before sharing my screen with you don't forget to subscribe leave your comment and let me know what you think are you buying NFTs are you thinking about it do you think they're a good investment well let me know well, when you go on OpenSea.io you will see a lot of different NFTs being sold that can be as a piece of art, domain names, virtual worlds, trading car, collectibles, lots of different categories that you can find as a NFT. I know Voice, he likes a lot about trading cards. He knows about athletes and sports. Also, he knows a lot about gaming as well. Here... I personally, I like more about arts. So I'm going to buy a piece of art is a NFT. And this is the first step that you should, you know, just be aware of what you buy. And before just clicking in here, and guys, you're going to find so many different things on this platform, especially because here, this is widely open. Anyone can sell an NFT. You're going to find pictures. You're going to find tweets give so many different things that you need to pay attention on what you're buying to because also there is a lot of fake arts, fake, you know, digital work being sold out there. Some of them are not verified for the platform. They are still working on the authenticity process. So make sure you do your research and also make sure that you're going to buy something that at least resonates with you. It's not something that you just see, oh, okay, cool, I'm going to buy this. Um, because I think it's going to make me a quick buck overnight. Because that's not the reality of the NFT. You know, buy something that resonates with you from your favorite artist, from a artist that you like the work. So that way, if you want to resell that art or if you just wanted to collect, that's going to be so much easier for making the sale. Or that's going to give you so much more pleasure to just look at the item in your collection. Because I want to buy an NFT right here, right now, I'm going to click on buy now. And uh, to see what is out there for me to buy. Because some of these pieces, you know, they're on auction. Because that's how so many artists make more money for the artwork. Remember that uh, NFT piece that was sold for $69 million? Yes, was sold on an auction. Actually, the artist didn't put the price tag. He put just the minimal bid and people were like, just, you know throwing their money on that piece and it was sold for 69 million but here because i already dig down to this platform saw a lot of different stuff i choose the nft piece that i want to buy and i choose this one because it reminds me of like a surrealism and earth and i like the, the how the artist created his work and when i was going to buy this nft was at 0 0.14 ethereum the value of this piece was $319.13. And I really like it. It's something that is creepy and sweet at the same time. And I had another account on OpenSea and another wallet. But uh, here, because I want to do every single thing from zero, I'm going to create a, no a different one just to show you how it works, the process. So when I click on buy now, it already showed me that I need to connect with my wallet. I created my wallet on MetaMax because was the one that I thought would be the best for me, but you have the other options to link your wallet that you already have if you have one. If you don't have one, you can just type MetaMax extension because you can add that extension on your Google Chrome. That way, all the process is going to be so much easier for you to create your MetaMax wallet if, if you'd like to. And you're just going to download the extension. And as soon as you download the extension, you're going to receive a message from MetaMax for you to get it started and creating your account. You can just click in, and then you can just click and create a wallet and you're going to get access to some information for you to agree what is going on, what is not going on. You're going to create a password. Then you are going to 
have a secret backup phrase that is very, very important for you to just save because if you ever lost your password or something, you can use this sequence phrase to restore your wallet. So make sure you have that save somewhere safe where you can have easy access and then you need to confirm that phrase. And after that, boom, you created your MetaMax wallet. Yeah. Is that simple, guys? Okay, so when we go back here to the OpenSea for us to buy our token, you can easily just sign in your wallet that you have. We ca I'm signing in the wallet that we just created. That way, I'm going to be able to buy the piece that I want. When I click on... And aft after connecting, when I click on buy now one more time, I'm going to see some important information. The first information that I see is this item has not been reviewed by OpenSea. So let's see what that means. You should proceed with extra caution. Anyone can create a digital item on blockchain with any name, including fake versions of existing items. Please take extra caution and do your research when interacting with this item to ensure it's where it claims to be. So yeah, guys, doing your research is def definitely the first thing that you need to do, especially because there is a hype in the market because of NFTs. Even though I truly believe that NFTs are here to stay, um, do we need to be careful to not believe in every single thing that we see, right? Uh, so, okay. Here is showing me the total that I'm going to buy. That's 325. We just saw that it was 319 uh, minutes ago. It, this is because the price of the cryptocurrency goes up and down. And you will see that we are going to also have some fees in here. Oh, yeah. There are fees you got to pay, guys. But let's see this. As we go, you agree with everything, you, re you read all the information about the buyer, and uh, we, you can see, uh, like here, if you click on the name of the, the artist that is selling this piece, you will see the his orders, you will see his orders, uh, arts, and there is some like uh, references from other artists that I really like, like Salvador Dali, uh, some techniques, um, that he used that I really, really like, uh, like cubism, surrealism, and he also incorporates modern art. So that's something that I like. I like about him as an artist, and I like about this piece as well. Okay, so now we go through this and adding founds. You can see that if you don't have any cryptocurrency, you can buy with your credit card. That's what we're going to do. But if I already work with a platform exchange like Coinbase or Binance, you can just deposit your crypto from that exchange. So that is a whole different process. Because we are pretending I don't have anything. I'm starting from zero. I'm going to buy with my credit card. So let's see how this process works. You click on buy with credit card and then you select the amount that you want. Because my piece costs 0 0.14, I don't want to buy just 0 0.14 because you already know you have some fees. I'm going to buy 0 0.15 Ethereum. Okay, so that means that I'm going to pay $385 or something like that. So, and after choosing the amount that you're going to pay, okay, you are going to connect into your wallet, put your email information, verify your email information, put some basic information of yours, your billing address, just, you, you know, your cell phone, and confirming that cell phone number, and also you need to verify your identity. You can just upload your driver license, national identity card, or residence residence permit. I use my driver license, and this process usually you do on your phone. You just open your camera, scan the code, so you can you know, upload your front of your driver license, the back, and also you need to take a selfie the process to complete after completing the process you are going to go to enter the payment information that is your card information and then you're going to go to check out when you go on check out you see the amount that you are going to pay like i say 385.10 cents with all the fees included already all right and when 
I click in buy now, that is going to take time to process my order through this platform. That was a really interesting experience, guys, because you can see here that I started this process uh, at 2.02. And that's what when I ordered the 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 cryptocurrency, and then I finished this process at three fifty, literally almost two hours after. That was painful to wait, but it worked. It worked. So just be patient, okay? Because the thing works. And then after you have the crypto delivered to your wallet, if you click to see the to view on the blockchain explorer you see nothing zero and you can tell and honestly when i saw that I was like where is my money where is my money i was about to send a message i was like where is my 400 dollars? where did it go but guys because every single thing takes time it took time for the value of the cryptocurrency being my wallet. The cool thing is before it was at 0 0.14, now it's 0 0.13. That means I'm gonna pay less than I was willing to pay. And after clicking checkout, you will see that it's gonna take more time. <laughs> you see that the window of authorization will open and something really cool is going to happen is where we talked about the gas fee. The gas fee, I'm just let me just pull here on Google for you to see what the gas fee is because this is a really interesting thing. But basically, gas fees are payments by, by user to compensate for the computer energy required to process and validate transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. A higher gas limit means that you must do more work to execute a transaction using Ethereum or a smart contract. So the more money you pay for a gas fee, m faster is going to be the transactions that you're doing. Faster is going to, you know you're going to have that NFT on your collections. So because I just bought 0 0.15 Ethereum the day before, I didn't have em, uh, enough. I didn't have a lot of Ethereum in this wallet. I went to, I did some settings in here that you can see it's very, very easy. And I set my gas fee in a much lower price. That way I could, could just use the funds that I already had. And after that, having enough funds to buy my piece, I clicked on confirm and boom, the process began. And if you see right here, this is all the information about the transaction that I just did. Um, and it took approximately three hours and a half to complete this process for me to buy a NFT from OpenSea and it appears in my account. And when I go to my account, my unnamed account that I literally create right here, right now, it shows the piece that I just bought. So yes, I like the experience, was something that I was not prepared for because usually, you know, the process is much faster, but probably because I did every single thing from zero. And I'm so excited with the art that I have. I'm really pumped about this. The price here, you can see the price history is just going up. And honestly, I see so much value in this NFT for so many different reasons. And if you want to know, you know, like what is my process thinking for choosing an NFT art, just let me know if you have any process thinking on how you choose your NFTs. Just leave in the comments below. I would love to learn from you as well. And if you want to buy an NFT from zero, not having wall, it's not having a login account on OpenSea. Guys, that's how you do it. You have all the steps that I just showed to you. It was a really interesting process. I would do it over again. I'm so excited and so happy that I did this video and I just shared with you some cool things that just happened. I'm really excited for this. I truly think this is a valuable piece. So I'm excited just to have uh, in my collection as well. And let me know what you think. Thank you so much for being here with me for watching this video i am so grateful for every single view even if just one view in this video i just love sharing my passion about art and i truly believe the nfts are here 
to change so many different things for artists. Of course, there is like room for improvement, but you know, let's go on this journey together. Thank you so much, guys. I see you in our next video. Um beijo, tchau, tchau.